Data Profiling Types Let's dive into the various types of data profiling that helps us maintaining data quality. There are three main types, structure discovery, content discovery, and relationship discovery. Let's explore each of them. Structure discovery. This is also called structure analysis. This focuses on validating if data is consistent and properly formatted. The fundamental aim of structure discovery is to understand how well the data is structured to ensure data consistency. This type of profiling involves performing mathematical checks on the data such as sum, minimum, maximum, along with the descriptive statistics such as mean, median, mode, standard deviation, etc. How do these statistical measures help us? They help in summarizing and understanding data sets, identifying outliers, making comparisons, and drawing conclusions about the data characteristics. A common method used in structure discovery is pattern matching. Allow me to explain with an example. Consider a customer dataset with email as one of its columns. Structure discovery finds out the percentage of emails that are not in correct format. That is, the emails that do not have at the rate or those do not have domain suffix such as .org or .com. Similarly, let's take another column called contact number. Structure discovery finds the percentage of phone numbers that do not have the correct number of digits. So that is about the structure discovery concept. Let's get to the next one, content discovery. Content discovery shifts the focus back to data values from its structure. Its main objective is to identify records with errors. It involves looking into individual data records to identify obvious issues like missing values or more subtle problems such as incorrect data or ambiguous data. For example, consider a customer dataset again with a column called contact number. Content discovery identifies the percentage of phone numbers having no area code. Earlier in the structure discovery, what did it identify? It caught the phone numbers with lesser digits, meaning there it tried to match the pattern. While in content discovery, it has identified invalid data. That's the difference between these two. Last but not the least, relationship discovery. It takes us beyond the data structure and the data values to explore the connections between records within the table as well as connections between different tables. These connections are critical for maintaining data integrity. They include references within a table and relationships between the tables like foreign key and primary key relations. Let's take a scenario that illustrates relationship within a table. Think of a cell value that is calculated based on other cell values within a table. If you are importing a data set into a different database, understanding these relationships is crucial to preserving data integrity. Imagine a sales table that tracks the sales transactions and the columns are order ID, product name, quantity, unit price and total revenue. Here, the column total revenue is calculated by multiplying quantity by unit price for each transaction. So the total revenue column contains calculated values based on other cell values within the table. Let's say you are in the process of importing your sales data from one database to another. Why understanding the relationship is extremely critical? Because when you import the data, you need to ensure the calculated values in the total revenue are preserved accurately. If the calculations are lost or altered during the transfer, it can lead to incorrect financial records, impacting decision-making and financial reporting. Now, let's take the scenario that illustrates the relationship between the tables. Imagine you have two tables one for your customers and another for your orders. In your orders table, you have details about each order, like the products purchased and the customer who made the order. Relationship discovery here finds out how these tables connect. It helps you realize the customer's information in the customer's table is linked to the orders they have placed in the orders table. 
In any case, if you have a record in your orders table, but there's no corresponding record in the customer's table, then this could be a data quality issue for that customer. Here, relationship discovery comes in handy to find these orphaned records by revealing the missing links between orders and customers. This information is crucial for maintaining data integrity. That way, exploring these data profiling types, say structured discovery, content discovery, and relationship discovery ensures high quality data that's consistent, error-free, and well-structured, ultimately supporting better business outcomes. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more insights on data quality and other topics in the data world.